Hey, what's going on? Uh, I read your article that you posted online, and I wanted to respond. So, the the deal that I have is that is this just another ebb, or is this another flow that we have in our economy? Now, there's a difference, of course, between a flow and an ebb when they, things go bad and things go good and things go up and things go down. And there's also growth. So technically we're always moving in an upward direction. Even if our economy is going to be going down for a while, there will be an uptick because the population gets larger. Everybody needs a job and everybody needs some place to work. And especially with our pol uh, politicians and the Fed trying to make sure that we have homes and jobs, uh, you can't really distinguish what is going to be a uptick or what is going to be the ebb and flow. Now, it is significant that the US dollar has gone up in comparison with the euro for the past three years. Because everybody knows that in the beginning with the euro, the euro was very low value and then shot up. It, uh, it went up almost to a dollar and 30 cents for every one euro. So it, it, it was very, very disheartening because it went up so fast, some people didn't have enough time to pull out their money or exchange it real quick back to their own currency so that they wouldn't keep losing money. And uh, like uh, Mr. H always likes to say, it's a bad time to go on that uh, European vacation. And every single time I always think about the Euro vacation for uh, Chevy Chase and how he... Okay, never mind, that was a different story. Just watch the movie for National Lampoon's European Vacation and laugh a bunch because it's just a funny movie. Uh, don't watch the Vegas Vacation one though because that one was horrible. However, uh, with more people consuming and more people getting houses and things, it's not really a surprise because the housing market is just so down in the dumps. If you got the money, you can buy. So if, if you got the money and you are making decent cash, then you can probably buy and not feel bad about it and have, be pretty confident that later in the future your house is going to be worth something more than what you bought it for. That's why we see all around Phoenix all those we buy ugly houses things. Yes, they're buying those houses, fixing them up for maybe fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 and making a good $40,000 profit off of it. It works. But the question you have to ask yourself once again is that who are buying, who is buying these houses? Are they the young people? Are they the people that lost their houses? Are the people that got so underwater with their mortgages and claimed bankruptcy and now they're just finally being able to pick up back up off their feet? So who is buying these houses? That's the real question. So hey, I will see you in class and I love your face. We'll see you next time.